Hey everybody, sorry for the shaky video, but this is Charlie, and I wanted to show you how to um, upgrade your data from the old Indie Band Manager into the new. This is the new Indie Band Manager 5.2 or 5.6 or whatever you want to call it. But anyway, so you see it, it's running here, and we can actually run this one, and we can run the other ones at the same time. So we can switch between them. Like here's the old Indie Band Manager 4.1. You see it looks pretty much the same, right? All you have to do now is go into the administration button. See that little administration button? Go to that administration screen. And there's a button down here on the left to export all your data to Z files. See where it says export all data files to FMP format. That's the button you want. Export all data files to FMP format. See that one way down there in the middle? Click that button, it'll export all your data files out, okay? And this works in version 4.1. That's the version we're looking at right here. It also works in version 5.1. So here I'll switch over to 5.1. You see it's almost the same. This is actually the light version. But they all work the same. You see there's that same administration button. Click on the administration button. Get into this screen. And this one says export to ver 5.xz files FMP. See that button there? That's the one you want in version 5. So, uh, oh, I can't see the buttons over here. Here we go. See? Export to version 5.xz files. So it'll export all your data files out um, to these things that, that are called Z files. Oops, sorry about my finger. And if we look at the, if we look in the finder here, see, you're like, here's your folder. Here's the Indie Band Manager 4.1 folder. And it makes all these files that start with the letter Z. I've got them highlighted. See, Z underscore address, Z underscore artist. You take all those Z files and you put them into your new Indie Band Manager folder. So like here, look over here. You see I've got it. There's Band Manager 6, Mac. That's the folder that I've got open there. You just drag all those files into that folder. See, I just drag them over there and drop them in. And then when you go into Indie Band Manager 6, you go into that same admin screen, that admin prep screen, and again, down here in the lower left, you've got this button to import version 5.x files. See that? Import version 5.x files, or down on the bottom there, import version 4.x files, whichever one you're upgrading from. So once you've got those files in that folder, you just click that button, and it'll import them all in. Okay? Makes sense? Cool. That's how it works. So just remember, just move those files over from your other Indie Band Manager folders, you know, either Indie Band Manager 5.1, Indie Band Manager 4.1, any 5.x number or 4.x number, you just export those data files out and then take those Z files and drag them into your Indie Band Manager 6 folder and then click that button to import them and you'll be all set. Okay, tell me if this helps. Thanks. Bye.